Welcome back, folks. So now I would like to demonstrate the admin part of your application. As a business owner, you will be able to upload your products to your application so that your customers can be able to see them. So you can see that this UI that you see is a UI for the customers, for your customers to be able to interact with your application. But as the owner, we can see that at the moment, there is nothing in the categories in there. So we don't have any product yet. So I want to show you how you will upload your own products to your web application. So the first thing that we do, you go on top there on the address, and then you go on the page of admin. There you are. So we now arrive to your admin page as the business owner. So here, that's where we are going to upload your items. You can see here, I have users. So if you click on users, then you are going to get uh, people who are allowed to use application. So you can see this is me, Bethuel there, and my email address. So on this application, I've logged in as a super user, meaning that I'm able to edit anything that is on the website. So I'm able to delete uh, the product. I'm able to uh, upload the product on this application. So if you purchase this application and then you are using it, here is going to be your name here, not my names. It's going to be your, your, your name, your email, and then your last name. And then here your, 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 your status in your company, whether you are the staff or you, 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 you are an admin. So we are going to appear here. So now let's go to the part of payment now. You can see we have a payment page there. So your clients are able to get into your web your website and be able to pay you directly to your, your bank account. So you can see on the pay payment page, there is nothing yet because not line they made any order on this application as yet. But when the application is in production, you will be able to see the orders here. And there you can also see as an order item, and then you see all the other items here. And then you can see that there you get the, the order, order number, the type of the product that you are selling, the quantity. You can even increase the quantity there. And then the price of your, your product. So it's also going to be indicated there. And then here, you are able to choose uh, your name that the person who's actually making the purchase. And then you can see here that you, you are able to save the 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 details there of the other form. So this is the part of the other form that is going to appear on the UI when your customer is making a purchase. So you can also see the shipping address there. The shipping address. This means that uh, you will be able to use this address to locate. Uh, your, your, your customer. If you want to deliver the product, then you can go straight to your customer and deliver the product directly to, the, to your customer, or you can use a, any form of transportation to make sure that your customers get your product on time. So if I get in there, you can see that this is the form that contains uh, the address and the name of your customer, even the location of your customer there within the province. So you can delete this information or you can save it. So that is the part of the shipping address. The categories now, remember that if you are providing a particular product, you find that in that particular product, you have various categories. 
So you can categorize your product according to the categories so that it becomes easy for your customers to effectively make purchase on your application. So currently, there is nothing there, but you can add the category of your product there, and then you can begin to categorize your products uh, using this form. Then you can even save the category of your product. We also have this page here of products. So here it's where you are going to place the products that you are selling. If I say add, then you're going to add the category of your product. You're going to add the title of your product, the brand of your product, and you put some descriptions there. So I'll pause a moment and explain here. Another description, if you are providing services to your customers, then we're going to explain that. Uh, what type of services are you providing? When are you providing it? How you are providing it? How is that going to help your customers? So if you are selling products, then we're going to describe your product there and put the, uh, all your product descriptions here so that your customers are aware and they are clear about what they're actually buying from you. And then for the sake of demonstration, you will be able to upload the image of your product. So let's see here. Do I have some product in here? Pause. Let me see. Say I want to sell what? Maybe I want to sell food. But you can choose any product. I will put the image there. And you can see that my image is uploaded. And I will also save. I will also click on the save button there. So immediately when you say save, so next to your product, there will be the image of your product there so that your customers can see. So information that you entered here is going to appear on the UI of you. It's going to appear on the front end of your application. So thanks guys for, for watching. So this was the demonstration of the business owner who is able to upload the product so that your customers can be able to see your product on, on the front end. If you're providing services, your customers will be able to see uh, those services uh, in the front end. So it's not everyone who has, who has access to the back end of your application. Uh, if you purchase the, this application from me, I will give you uh, the login details and make you a super user so that we're able to use your application the way you want. And thank you very much for watching. So let's meet again on the next demonstration.